Tiffany Huertas with how getting these packages to the deploy during the holidays helps them in so many ways. So we have some great things in the stockings, of course, candy from our Treats for Troops candy buyback program. We also have um, puzzle books, snacks, hygiene items. Holiday stockings were put together for deployed service members and veterans at the nonprofit Soul Angels. I did three tours, two tours in Iraq, one tour in Afghanistan. I'm a Purple Heart recipient. Army veteran Chris Irving, who is part of the nonprofit's veteran intern program, says seeing everyone come together for holiday stockings for heroes is special. Because I've been there with some soldiers hadn't had family members to send them in and they get stuff from people like organization this and it really motivates them to keep them going and keep them ready to keep going and put it hard. As we kind of returned a little bit, cost all kinds of things, even snacks has gone up. So our numbers are actually down a little bit this year. This year, their goal is 40,000 stockings. So far, they have collected around 33,000. And we're going to be supporting deployed service members, deployed chaplains who will go out on the field and pass them out, veterans that are hospitalized over the holidays, and this year, even guard and reservists that are activated for border. The whole family can get involved. Kids can add a special touch by adding drawings that will be placed inside the stockings or writing special messages inside cards. And just to see that you're doing things to help veterans and service members across the world and you're a part of it, it's a great feeling inside and I'm really glad I'm part to be able to do it. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.